Hello everyone, Paul from Ortho Valpal, and in this video we're going to talk about an L5 nerve root compression. So, what makes it an L5 nerve root compression? Typically patients will complain of pain going down the leg, um, typically loss of sensation, paresthesias into the foot. Uh, one of the uh, most common findings is a weakness into the extensor hallucis longus, so hold the big toe up, and I have them hold it there, I try to push them down. Um, I take them into a straight leg raise position and sitting, they usually light right up, they'll kind of drop back, and they also have a positive straight leg raise test. Um, they do not have a reflex uh, because we're L4 here, S1 down here, there isn't a reflex for it. So typically, referred pain, loss of sensation over the dorsum of the foot, and weakness of the extensor hallucis longus. Um, the other thing that is very important to remember about an L5, and people miss this all the time, I've seen um, many people get hip injections, um, especially like greater trochanteric bursitis injections, because a lot of people are generally tender to touch if you kind of you know poke right in there, and so they get injections. But it can actually be an L5, so all you have to do is when you lift the leg and put them into a straight leg raise position and put them into neural tension, say, where's the pain coming from? And if they say, you know what, this is really starting to ache right now, well, you're really not stretching that tissue, you're stretching the hamstrings, right, and a little bit of the calves. Um, but an L5 will present with discomfort in the lateral hip, and it's, it's pretty consistent. If you, if you check it out the next time you have an L5 nerve root compression or somebody with a herniated disc at L5, um, when you straighten that leg out or do a straight leg raise, they'll have some isolated discomfort. They can have some ridiculous pain down the leg, but typically it's worse here. And it's even worse there if you dorsiflex the foot also at the same time. So those would be signs of a L5 a nerve root compression. Thanks.